The woman lifted her blouse up at a dog. She wanted to see how the dog would react. But the dog didn't change its face. It was only when its owner came that the woman awkwardly lowered her shirt. Because in the future world, people gain a superpower when they become adults at the age of 18. Some can control things with their mind. Some can use their flying ability to be chauffeurs. Only Jenny, who's almost 30, hasn't awakened her superpower yet. They call her an old, unawakened person. That interviewer said, your CV doesn't say anything about your powers. Jenny could only say that she didn't have any superpower. This has led to Jenny failing every interview she's had. The feeling of frustration and inferiority is always hitting her. Even her boyfriend was getting annoyed with her. When she came back from the toilet, her boyfriend flew out of the window. It was Mary's 18th birthday. Everyone was looking forward to witnessing her unlocking her powers. Mary didn't know what to do. Her mother reminds her to try turning on the TV. The girl tries to use her powers on the TV, but nothing happens. Apparently she didn't succeed. The father told her to take a deep breath and use her mind. But Mary still didn't feel anything. Her mother reassured her that there was no need to worry and that she might be able to unlock her powers in a few days or weeks. Jenny was happy that he wasn't the only ugly duckling in the world. But within minutes, Mary opened the fridge and removed the door. It turns out she's awakened her Hercules powers. Everyone was cheering for her, except Jenny, who was not happy. Everyone was so happy. The mother sat her day on the sofa and let Mary lift it right up to the ceiling. Everyone celebrates Mary's joy at unlocking her bar mitzvah, but none of them take Jenny's feelings into account. Jenny draws attention to herself by emphasizing that she's killed a man, but no one cares about her. In a feat of anger, Jenny took the most expensive bottle of champagne and left the house. The bitterness of the situation was too much for her to absorb, so she went to see her boyfriend Jack, but as soon as she enters the house, she sees a beautiful blonde woman sitting on the sofa. Embarrassed, she asked, are you guys dating? They hastily denied it. Jenny said that since it wasn't a date, she didn't mind if there was one more person. So the three of them had dinner together. Jack proudly introduces the beauty's superpower of shape-shifting. The man took the pre-girl for a romantic flight in the night sky. Jenny said it's my turn. Jenny has never enjoyed this kind of treatment before. She insisted Jack to take her on a flight. But Jack said he's tired and he'll do it next time. Jenny refused to do it. Finally Jack picked her up, but the man's legs felt like they were filled with lead, as if he was picking up a pig. When he landed, Jack asked Jenny to break up with him. He said to Jenny, if you don't love yourself, how can you love others? Leif once again abandoned her mercilessly. She called her late father in tears and asked herself why she didn't have superpowers. But the person who answered the phone in front of her was her best friend, Kylie. It turns out that Kylie has psychic powers, so Jenny often communicates with her father through him to find comfort. Everything happens for a reason. Maybe Jenny's powers haven't awakened yet. That day, Jenny suddenly saw a stray cat in front of her house. Seeing that the cat was pitiful, Jenny invited it into her home, but she unexpectedly bumped into Tom, who shared the flat, playing Superman in a leotard. She teased Tom that he looked like a swollen puppet, and took out her mobile phone to take a picture. Tom is afraid of being embarrassed, and immediately uses his superpower to turn back time. Jenny went back to before she opened the door. The time went back to the minutes later. Tom hurriedly took off his tights. It turns out that Tom is not only Jenny's roommate, but also her best friend Kylie's boyfriend. They disliked the black cat and encouraged Jenny to throw it out. But Jenny insisted on adopting it. Because it's full of life and aggression, it deserves a life of its own. But at night, just as Jenny was falling asleep, the black cat took on human form. But when he heard something, he turned back into a black cat. Jenny took off her blindfold and saw only a black cat. What is the origin of this black cat? Will Jenny be able to realize her superpower in the end? I'm a bulldog movie. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.